Shelley Hallsberg is a clairvoyant, medium, pet psychic, and tarot reader. She does not ask for the details about your life, but primarily relies on her gift of clairvoyance to receive the psychic insights that will be the most helpful to you about your soulmate, relationships, money concerns, and your career path. As a pet psychic, she will receive insights about what your pet or pets wants you to know. As a medium, she will connect with your loved ones on the other side. Shelley Hoffberg is the host of the Psychic Horizon radio show, produced by Goldilocks Productions and presented on Blog Talk Radio, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Shelley brings together the pioneers and visionary teachers to share with you some of the most enlightening knowledge that is out there today to expand your horizons and open the path to higher consciousness. Welcome to the Psychic Horizon Show. I'm your host, Psychic Shelley Hoffberg, and today's guest is Brian Rawls. And Brian Ross will be back on January 19th, and he's the host of the Magical Journey radio show that comes on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And on January 5th is Frank Falcon doing tarot. On January 12th is Mary Stewart. On January 26th is Kirsten Ross, medical intuitive. And uh, I'm going to be at the uh, School of Multidimensional Healing and Science on December 20, December 31st. And on January 14th, I'll be at the Learning Light Foundation Psychic Fair in Anaheim. And on January 29th, I'll be at the New Earth Expo. I'll keep you posted as to what location the expo is going to be. I'm now ready to bring on uh, my guest, uh, Brian Ross. Hello, Brian. Hello, Shelly, and how are you today? And thank you for having me on the uh, Psychic Horizon show. It is always a pleasure to be on the show. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you. And can you tell the caller something about yourself? Yes, uh, yes, ma'am, I can. My name is Reverend Brian Ross, and I am... um, I'm a certified psychic medium by the American Federation of Certified Psychic Mediums Incorporated out of the London, New York, and California office. I'm also a uh, a certified Reiki master in 41 different styles of Reiki, as well as also a sacred activations um, practitioner and an esoteric acupuncture uh, um, acupuncturist. And I also am a galactic uh, light channel as well as a light language speaker. So uh, with those uh, particular gifts and expertise, I uh, channel various beings of uh, various um, races and species uh, in help of uh, evolving the human, um, the human consciousness. Awesome and 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 Brian, um, what is what is mediumship? Mediumship is a, a particular um, it's a particular ability that allows you to have communication with uh, discarnate spirits that have crossed beyond the veil and uh, have allowed for communication with um, that particular um, being consciousness. And that's a little bit of what mediumship is about, Uh, although there are many, many different uh, types of mediumship. Awesome. And, Brian, let's take our first caller, which is Zeriko 352. Hello, 352. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, and who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? My name is Linda. Hello, Linda. And Linda, what is your question today? Um, Well, I was just wondering, um, well, uh, is it okay to ask if you have a message for me, Brian, or is it through you? Um, I was just wondering. Okay, uh, so um, 
there is a uh, a fathering energy around you, and this is uh, very much a um, a fathering type energy, a very um, very dominant energy here. So I would have to say possibly father. Uh, uh, is this um, <coughs> does this sound uh, sound correct? Yes. Okay, your father uh, is stating that there is some particular situation that you have currently uh, either came into or are about to come into where you're going to have to um, change your perception um, on a particular, I guess you would say a belief that you will um that you will have to kind of feel if it resonates with you or not. Now, also, he is uh, stating that there is um, there is an abundant amount of energy uh, that he is uh, allowing for you to acknowledge to uh, bring growth to your spirituality. All right, so uh, he I feel as if he is kind of opening doors. Uh, to opportunities that um, that have kind of led up to or is going to lead up to this particular experience of you cha- uh, changing your perception about something. All right? Mm-hmm. That's ba- um, basically the message that came through was uh, the change of perception on a situation. Um, but let's see what Shelley has to say. I feel that you're that you were very close to your uh grandmother growing up on your mother's side and I feel that your grandmother is also uh around you and loves you very much and thinks that you've turned out to be a great, you know, human being, you know, a great person, a good person who cares about other people, who's very giving to other people who's very kind, who's very loving. She, you know, thinks that you've turned out well, and she's happy to have you as her granddaughter. And, you know, you were a lovely little girl, and you are a lovely lady, uh, she's saying. And I feel that your grandmother uh, feels that there's love in your life or will be love in your life, that love is very important to you and that they will be love in your life or love. Are you married now, Linda? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. I but feel I there's... think I came in on the love ray, and so that's just a real part of, of, you know, who I am. Yes, you definitely are a person who love is important to you, and I feel that you'll stay married. I feel that you'll have a long, uh, a long marriage and that your marriage mm-hmm. is going to work out that he's a good husband mm-hmm. and she's and she likes your husband she really likes him she thinks mm-hmm. he's a good a good man she likes your husband and brian how can linda get in contact with you linda if you would like to get in contact with me sweetheart you can uh, uh call me at the office at 586-659-9620 or you can go to my website at www.imagicaljourney.com and that is a m a g i c k a l j o u r n e y dot com. Thank are you, you can, very much. Are you, are you and Shelly, I was just oh Shelly, I was just wondering, uh, my little dog Lucy is kind of a terror, and I was wondering if you could. Tune in to, you know, she's fine in the home, but take her outside and she's a maniac. Do you, can you tune in to her to see what in the world we can do to help her? Um, I feel, you know, just um, when she's outside, uh, pet her behind her ears, pet her and talk to her and tell her everything's okay. She gets very excited when she's Mm -hmm. outside. And she's very, and she's a very alert dog. If there's other dogs mm-hmm. or people around, she gets excited. And I feel to calm her down, pet her behind the ear to calm her down when she's outside. You know, to calm her down, she needs mm-hmm. to calm down. You know, she's just too excited. Right, right. Okay, good. Okay, so the ears will work for her. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Well, thank you both very much. I hope you both have a wonderful Merry Christmas. And you could get a hold of me, Linda, at 818-744-5241 or go to PsychicHorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show today, Linda. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. You're welcome. We're now going to continue our interview with Brian Ross on mediumship. And then we're going to take our next caller, which is Carolyn, area code 818. How can mediumship help you, Brian? Well, mediumship can help you in many different ways. It can uh, kind of of tie up loose ends between um, a person that has passed away as well as a person that is in uh, the physical reality. It can also connect a loved one to their um, uh, to their past loved one that just recently passed away to kind of um, uh, heal the grieving process. So uh, it, there's many different um, benefits of of mediumship, and uh, one other be- uh, our benefit of mediumship is being able to uh, is basically being able to communicate uh and communicate directly with that uh with that uh entity or being interesting that's good well let's take our next caller which is carolyn area code 818 hello carolyn hello how you doing we're doing fine how are you today carolyn i'm doing great i'm doing good um hi brian um, the question oh, I have, uh, hey, <laughs> is there anyone on the other side who has a message for me today? Okay, automatically I heard sister. I don't know if you have a sister on the other side or not, but uh automatically heard sister. Now, is she, uh, do you have a sister on the other side? Well, I, I, I thought that I was uh, a twin and my sister is on the other side and she wasn't born. So I've, I've heard that I have a twin sister. And her name is Matthew. Um, all right, so there you go. Um, there is one particular message, and this okay. one particular message is uh, is whatever uh, there. Well, what I'm basically seeing here is kind of like a picture, uh, a picture because it's really hard to um, uh, kind of explain. But um, they are show, it's showing me a picture uh, of above the horizon. Um, the being the sun, the sun will will show you some uh some extra answers, I guess you would say, because mm-hmm. your sister is uh, your sister is pointing towards uh, the solar energies. So, what uh, my recommendations would be is to um, raise the energy up in your um, vitamin D by increasing the vitamin D as well as also um, get out more in the sunlight because the sunlight is very healing. Uh, it holds the solar codes, and those solar codes will um, will upgrade you. See, your sister is a, uh, was a very highly evolved uh, consciousness, and it's a part of you. And your sister is basically trying to merge with you and um, merge the parallels because she's just stuck on a different parallel. Um, the reason wow. why she didn't necessarily come in is be, uh, is because she, she's actually stuck where you actually came from. Oh, All right? okay. She's, um, okay. It's actually a, par- uh, a parallel dimension or a, a fold in a dimension. All right? Oh. So... From that particular energy um, is about creation. It's about uh, allowing for the uh, creation matrix to be tweaked. So start using the red candle. And the reason why I say a red candle is because it connects you most with the uh, with the creation matrix, which is the eight cell blueprint. So as you light that red candle, light it up and Speak your creation to that red candle. That red candle will empower your intentions and your manifestation. Okay? okay. So, you know, sister says, uh, sister says, continue to manifest. You are a supreme manifester. Whatever okay. you speak will come about. Oh, okay. 
Let All right, me. words are louder when spoken. More and louder, okay. More and louder. All right. All right. And let's see what Shelly has to say. Thank you, bud. Um, Welcome, Doc. I'm, get, I'm getting a message from your mother. She says she loves you. She says that she worries about you and she's concerned about your health. Um, but she feels next year that you're going to get stronger, that you're going to get your health taken care of, and you're going to get stronger. And she's saying she knows that your siblings can be difficult, but the, that you but you need to just you know be the strong one, the strong link in the chain, and you need to love them even though they're difficult. You need to try to love them and try to be uh, around them. She's saying it's important to, you know, family is important, that family is everything, and she wants her children all together. And, okay. and you know, it does bother her that Wendy and Wanda pick on you. It does bother her. But, but she says that they don't know any better, and you have to be the strong one, and, you know, to love them anyway is what she's saying. Okay. And and she's saying that Eric is going to make it as a lawyer, and she's so proud of him, you know, and she's so proud of her granddaughter that she's doing well in school and proud of Eric that he's going to make it as a lawyer. And she says you're going to have a celebrate two celebrations in the future, one your granddaughter graduating from college and one your Eric becoming a, and two Eric becoming a lawyer that you're going to have two celebrations in the future oh, okay. that you're going to be able to rejoice, rejoice and celebrate. And yeah, okay. Brian, how can Carolyn get in contact with you? Carolyn, you can get in contact with me at 586-659-9620 or you can also go to my website at www.com okay, or brianrawls.com. Okay, thank you both. And thank you for you calling, really Carolyn. Well. Okay, bye-bye. I'm now ready to continue my interview with Brian Rawls on mediumship, and then we'll take our next caller, which is area code 480. Uh, what is a spirit guide, Brian? A spirit guide is basically the charge of the medium or the <clears throat> or the the spokesperson for the medium. And uh, uh, it's a voice of the medium to allow for the uh, the channeling information or the messages to be brought forth from the spirit world into our three-dimensional uh, three presence. As we blend with the three-dimensional presence, uh, we merge the parallels to be able to understand and interpret the messages from the spirit guide so that we are a clear instrument and channel. Awesome. Let's take our next caller, Brian, which is area code um, 480. Hello, 480. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And who do we have the pleasure to speak to? Um, my name is Shruti, S-H-R-U-T-I. S H R I T I, S H R U T I, Shruti. And Shruti, what is your what is your what is your question today? My question is regarding uh, insight on my career. My I'm currently working, and the company has been going through a downturn. So, taking layoffs, selling off assets. I've been applying to different positions, and was wondering uh, what do you see for the upcoming year. Okay, so for the upcoming uh, year and Shruti, kind of like the Shruti box? Yeah, it's Shruti, Fruity, Shruti. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh, so for the next coming year, what I'm seeing here for you, uh, dear, is I'm seeing that there is a position that you um, that you have, I'm feeling that you've already applied for it, uh, and uh, it feels to me like it's, uh, it's like a right around the corner, almost like directly right around the corner. Uh, mm -hmm. So within the next um, four to five weeks, 
okay. max of six weeks. Uh, something is going to be coming into uh, your energy field. You just have to uh, stay open and be balanced and uh, be aligned with it. And to be in alignment with it, you must uh, allow for it to come into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I was wondering why I wrote down this um, this particular prayer uh, before the... Uh, before the show, and I guess it's for you. So, Thank you. Uh, get, uh, take a deep breath in, and I am now ready to accept the energetic vibration of the divine plan, uh, plan co-created by the creator, Shruti's soul group, and Shruti's soul for her present reality. We open herself up to the experience, the divine plan of the creator flowing through her with great ease. If she is to understand divine guidance to aid her current reality, she permits this to flow into her consciousness now. Thank you. And it's so. All right. And allow for that energy to set with you for a moment. And um, pay attention to your thoughts and your um, and your uh, and your bitings and your uh, and your feelings. Uh, because you're going to be uh, led in particular directions for the, at least the next um, four to six hours. So understand okay. that that um, particular prayer has opened your divine channel up for you to uh, create within your divine purpose. So uh, understand that creation is all yours. All right. So, but there is a uh, a job coming in in about six uh, about six weeks. Wonderful. And is that going to be in alignment to me? And is that basically, yes, am I going to be happy, happy with, with it? Or? It will be in alignment with you. It actually is um, and basically going to fall into your lap. I don't know exactly who you have been um, asking for help from or um, or praying to, but mm-hmm. it feels to me like it's kind of, uh, it's basically a road opener. And it opens uh, many different roads to you. And um, you're already down that one road that is going to lead you to where uh, you're needing to be at this particular moment because it's in your divine plan, you and you already co-created it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. You are very welcome. Let's see what Shelly has to say. Yes. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, Shruti, Shruti, I feel that the job is in an office environment and that you'll be some type of assistant or manager that you're going to kind of climb up the career ladder into a higher level position. The job may actually be within another company, not the company that you're working for, but an an outside company. The company you're working for is going to be downsizing in the future, so I feel that you're going to be looking for another job and that I feel that within six to eight weeks you will have the job. By March time, you'll be working at a new job, and it will be an assistant or manager or assistant manager. The job is in management, so it's a higher level uh, position within the business world. And, Brian, how can Shruki get in contact with you? 586-659-9600. Or you can go to www.imagicaljourney.com or go to my blog at www.brianrawls.com. Thank you. And you could get a hold of me, Shruti, at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show. Thank you so much. And Shruti, can I give you a quick feedback? Uh, you are correct. I've been applying to management positions, so uh, you're right on target. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you and have a good Christmas, dear. Thank you. Same to you. Happy holidays. You too. I'm you now too, ready Jenny. to. Con- I'm now ready to uh, continue my interview with Brian Rawls on mediumship, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code five eight five six, Laura. Um, what types of mediumship are there, Brian? Okay, there are uh, there are four main types of mediumship, and that is mental mediumship, physical mediumship, healing mediumship, and channeling mediumship. 
And all of this is, uh, is broken down into different criteria, but uh, those criteria, and remember, this is just all labels, but, um, uh, and labels are, they labels have a particular frequency and a particular vibration. So that is what you're holding here on the physical level with that title. So that vibration, um, the mediumship, mediumship, pure mediumship come uh, is in a spiritual, uh, spiritual mediumship. But there's mental, physical, healing, and channeling mediumship. Awesome. And, Brian, let's take our next caller, which is area code 856, Laura. Hello, Laura. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. And what is your question today? I would like to know if you see me getting uh, one of the jobs that I've applied to for uh, January, if you see me starting work in January. Okay, so <clears throat> I do feel as if there is, uh, is employment in the month of January. I'm seeing right around January um, in right around January 8th into the 11th. And for some reason, I don't know uh, what the month of March has to do with you, but the month of March is uh, coming up as well. What's up with March? Does March have a significance with you? No. Um, So, I don't know. But, Brian, I have... um I had a phone interview for a permanent job based in New York, and they uh-huh. have an, but they also have an office in New Jersey, and I'm wondering if you see me maybe getting that job, and possibly, maybe they'll let me move into the New Jersey office in March. Maybe that, maybe that's what it would be. I don't know. That is a big possibility because March is very, um, very bright because it's almost like a uh, promotion. I almost feel like uh, you're in one door and then like up a whole two levels. And I have to also confirm when my cat meows, that usually means I'm right. And he just meows. <laughs> That wow! Do you think it's there. that job though that I I interviewed for um, the position for in New um, York? Do you have a Do you have a beginning name of it? Uh, the beginning of the the name of the company. Yes, ma'am. For the okay, uh, P, as in Paul. P, P as in Paul. Okay. All right, that's feeling very, um, very so. Yes, I am going to say that. And just to uh, make sure that and confirm it, I'm going to bring it in with a pendulum. So um, the job, yes, that is. All right, so that is your confirmation. Also, uh, they are mentioning that you need to uh, uh, regain your focus of um, your original intention with that uh, particular company. All right, mm-hmm. whatever that. My original intentions, I don't know what I mean by that, though. Because I've also I been applying for contract work, so maybe, maybe that's. I don't know. <laughs> I just know I need to start let's working. Let's see what Shelly can. Uh, let's see what Shelly can um, pick up because uh, your inner uh, your energy is showing that the job uh, there's the job's there, but there's something to do with March as well. But let's see what Shelly has to say. Shelly may be able to uh, clear it up a little bit for us. Okay. There's another job interview that takes place in the next two weeks. So I feel that there's actually going to be an offer of two jobs, the contract job and the permanent job, the one that's located in in New York. And I feel that you're going to take the job um, that you're interviewing for today, that you're going to take that job. That looks like a better opportunity for you it looks like more money and more of long term more of a long term employment 
And I do agree with Brian that you end up in New Jersey. You may originally be in New York for a while and then and then get transferred to the New Jersey office. So I agree with Brian that you will end up in New Jersey. Um, but there may be two moves, you know, because you may have to start off in New York. That's where they make, that's where they have the opening now. But there's mm-hmm. an opening coming up in New Jersey, I believe, what Brian is saying in March, and that you'll take that position. So it looks like it's a good company. It's a big company. It's a growing company. It's an expanding company. You'll grow and expand. You'll end up in management within a year's time. You know, a managerial position, so you're going to be climbing the career ladder within a year, and that you're going to be at this company for a long time. And Brian, how can Laura get in contact with you? You can get in contact with me at five eight six six five nine nine six two zero, or you can go to a magical journey at a m a g i c k a l j o u r n e y dot com or B-R-Y-A-N-R-A-W-L-S dot com, and that is blog and website. Feel free to use it any time you would like. Okay, great. Thank you, Beth. I appreciate it. And you could get a hold of me, Laura, at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show, Laura. Thank you. Merry Christmas, both of you. Merry Christmas Merry to you. Bye. Bye. I'm now ready to continue my interview with Brian Ross and then I'm going to, then we're going to take our next caller which is area code uh two two nine. Uh what is a clairvoyant medium, Brian? A clairvoyant medium is a uh, medium that receives clairvoyant images, which is clear images. Clairvoyance uh is clear vision and um, they receive such as like pictures in their mind or visions or um, or even see colors, see symbols. Um, that's how a clairvoyant medium uh, receives their message. And let's take our next caller, which is Erico 229 Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Hello, thank you for taking my call. You're welcome, and how can we help you today, Melvin? Yes, ma'am. I'm just calling um, to see, uh, do you all see any money coming in before Christmas for me? Okay, so take a deep breath in for me. All right. Yes, there is, but it seems like it's going to be the very last minute. I uh, see as if it's going to be like on the uh, on the twenty third or twenty fourth. Um, very much, mm-hmm. uh, very much some. Uh, it's definitely going to cause uh, a comfortableness. All right, so it's going to cause a uh, a comfortable feeling uh, with it. So I don't know the exact amount of money that you uh, will receive, but it it will uh, it will uh, withhold you. Okay, um, is something maybe coming in the mail or someone giving it to me? Um, I kind of feel like someone uh, may gift it to you. Wow. Definitely feels to me like it may be gifted to you. Um, uh, because uh it almost feels to me like it's uh it's almost like a gift or a blessing. And as they show me the gift and the blessing, uh that it's in a a it's in the dar- uh, direct um approach of allowing you to uh understand that you're worthy of receiving. Right. Wow. All right, but let's see what Kelly has to say. Okay. I feel, Melvin, that the money is going to be given to you. It's it's a Christmas it's as a Christmas gift and it'll be given uh, on the dates that Brian said, which is the twenty third of December, the twenty fourth. So there is some money that's going to be given to you. It looks like money, it's been a, a difficult financial year for you. But it looks like as we get into February, March, 
your finances will improve. There'll be gainful employment, and finances will improve through employment. There'll be new employment coming up in February, March. You're going to have a new job that's going to uh, pay better. So it looks like 2017 uh, could be Mm -hmm. a better financial year for you, Melvin. And, Brian, how can Melvin get in contact with you? type of job? Uh, I feel it's going to be a customer service job. Okay. Will it be at the same place that I'm at now where I got hurt at, at Walmart? I feel it's going to be at a different company. Great. Great. It's going to be a better job. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Definitely need that. And thank you so much. And um, Melvin, you can get in contact with me at 586-659-9620 or www.magicaljourney.com. Okay. And you and you can get a hold of me, Melvin, at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com and have a good Christmas, Melvin. Thank you all very much. God Merry bless you all. Yes, both of you all. Thank you. I really needed that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling, Melvin. We're now going to continue our uh, interview with Brian Rawls, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 714, uh, J. Can mediumship be learned, Brian? Yes, mediumship can be learned. Um, there are um, there are guides that are actually over on the other uh, side that you can call and request guidance from and assistance. And also, you can uh, find physical workshops here, such as um, my mediumship class or Shelley's. Uh, I know I think Shelley has a mediumship class, but uh, there is many different types of um, ways you can learn uh, mediumship. My best um, my best technique to uh, teach you all how to begin mediumship is start with automatic writing. Begin to uh, start channel their presence through your writing and see exactly how that works for you first. Thank you, Brian. Let's take our next caller, which is Jay, area code 714. Hello, Jay. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> do you have a message uh, from my people? All right. So the message I get uh, for you, at, there's a, well, I'm going to just explain the vision, and you'll kind of uh, you'll kind of get the je- uh, gesture. Um now, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing two swans, and they uh, and they make a heart with their necks. And I normally don't see that. And the only thing that I can uh, relate to that is that it's a divine union of something. A divine union either between uh, you and an energy or uh, you and a particular person. Now, has someone popped up that you have gained interest in? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay, so possibly somebody will be coming up. So you uh, just need to put that to the back of your mind. Always remember, uh, you never know who you uh, may be in the company with. So uh, so just remember um, that the, the two heart uh, or the heart next of two swans, uh, uh, that's the only thing I can uh, interpret as a love uh, is within a relationship. Um, so possibly a relationship may be uh, entering into your energy field. Um, so be open to it. Um, okay. Now they yay. will... What now? I said yay. Yeah. Um, and also I do want to uh, mention um, that for some reason I heard uh, I heard the word... Paris, 
for some uh some reason and then they want uh they want me to mention um uh the Magdalene with you. I don't know. I didn't why. quite catch that. I'm sorry. Parrot and a what? All right. It, they show me Paris, and then they show me Magdalena. Oh, Mary Magdalene, like Jesus' wife? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> I okay. I suppose. So, um, so I want you to uh, kind of drop into your uh, your heart and see exactly uh, uh, what that interprets or what that resonates with you for or about. Um, also, um, try out, uh, try out some balancing techniques because there, uh, there's some energy here that, it, uh, needs balancing and I will balance it real quick for you. Take a deep breath in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Korea, the Himo, Bet Una Hayat Opeyashi, O Riyama Hayat Opeya, O Korea, the Himo, and Um. O Korea, Makiate, and Um. Bet Ud Opeyashta, O M Una Eki, O Riyat Daim in Ime, O Riyat Daimish at Ese. Wow. And take a deep breath in. And just allow for that energy to sit with you, dear. Um, let's see what Shelly has to say. <laughs> well, your grandmother is coming through, Jay, and she's also saying that there's going to be new love for you in 2017. So it does look like that you are going to get into a relationship that Brian is seeing you meeting someone and you will. And I feel it will be before April, May, before we get into springtime. So sometime in the winter you'll be meeting someone before spring. And she's also saying something about a new job. You are going to leave the job that you're in and you are going to be taking a new job, a customer-related job. Um, it's not going to be sales-related. It's going to be more customer service-related. And it's going to be for some type of uh, cosmetic or entertainment company. It's going to be something in the beauty industry or in the creative industry. It's something that you will uh, like, that you will like the job. And the job comes up before March, April, so it's coming up early next year. So you, will, she's saying you are going to end up with a new job. And Brian, how can Jay get in contact with you? Jay, yeah, you can get in contact with me at five eight six six five nine nine six two zero, or you can go to my website, amagicaljourney dot com. Thank you both. You're, You're welcome, welcome and have a good Christmas, Jay. You too. And I'm now going to continue my interview with Brian Brault, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 818. What one spiritual movement brought mediumship into popularity, Brian? That is would be the spiritualism movement. And the spiritualism movement uh, came alive in Lily, uh, Lilydale, New York. Oh, okay. And let's take our next caller, which is area code 818. Hello, 818. Hi, this is Diane. Thank you for taking my call also. So, um, Brian and Shelly, I have been in a relationship, and um, we had a breakup, but we were together a month ago, and um, we haven't spoken since right before Thanksgiving about a month, as I said. Do you feel that um, he'll be contacting me? Do you feel anything at all you could share with me about the relationship? Okay, dear. So there will be a uh, there will be a communication uh, sometime either before Christmas or on Christmas Day. Um, or 
uh, right around that energy of Christmas because you uh, you do need to realize that there is a big wave of energy that's coming in on, on the 25th that is going to complement uh, the wave of energy that is going to actually be uh, hit the planet on the 26th. So that energy is bringing um, bringing some strange uh, revelations into our um, body around relationships, around spirituality. So it kind of feels to me like uh, like this may be your divine union. This may be a, a divine union of uh, your energetic field being in uh, union with his energetic field. Because how I'm seeing this is it's kind of like lattice work. Have you ever seen lattice work underneath the um, uh, front porch? Uh, sure. I do know what you mean. Uh-huh. I know lattice. And um, sure. that energy right there shows me kind of soulmate energy. And soulmate energy it just basically is uh, you come from the same soul group family um, and uh, the soulmate energy uh, has very much a um, a swing to it here. So um, I would definitely say um, that there's definitely going to be some communication. But let's see what Shelly's got to say. You know, thank you, Brian, because I agree with you 100%. Everything you picked up, you were like, wow. Thank you. You there. are welcome, Dan. Diane, I feel that he is going to contact you uh, right before Christmas and that you may be seeing him Christmas Day. You know, he may come to see you. I feel you'll be with your family, uh-huh. but I feel some of the Christmas Day you're going to be with him. So it does look like that, you know, that, you know, he's ready to come back and that you're going to get okay. back to get that you're going to get back together that there's still a relationship, that things are not really over between the two of you, that you're going to rekindle your relationship and that he's going to be rekindling kindling the relationship. He does have feelings for you and he does miss you. So I feel that right before Christmas, you're going to hear from him. So that's like in a day or two. Oh, I love that message. Thank you, Shelly. God bless you guys. I and really Brian, uplifted can, me. Yes. And Brian, right. how can Diane get in contact with you? You can get in contact with me at 586-659-9620. Or you can also uh, go to my website at www.amagicaljourney.com. Or you can go to my blog at www.bryanrawls.com. Perfect. And you could get and you could get a hold of me at eight one eight seven four four five two four one or go to psychichorizon dot com and thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon show. Thank you. We're now going to continue our interview with Brian Ross and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code three one two. Uh who were the Fox Six Sisters, Brian? The Fox sisters were the uh, the ones that were in communication with a being named Splitfoot, and these uh, these were the particular uh, mediums that began the spiritualist movement, and they um, the whole town of Lilydale, New York, which I haven't been there yet, but I will be going sometime soon. Um, but the whole town of Lilydale, New York, is about uh, is almost uh, is near about their story of how spiritualism came about and exactly what uh, what went on in their day to day lives. And um, a lot of uh, there's a lot of facts and um, and un Untruth, uh, untruthfulness to uh, to uh, the energy of the Fox sisters, but um, the energy of the Fox sisters did uh, bring through the spiritualist movement. Interesting. And let's take our next caller, Brian, which is area code three one two. Hello, three one two. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. My name's Karen, and I'm calling from Chicago. Uh, my question is, do you see another uh, consulting or permanent job for me? 
I'm consulting right now, but they have hired a girl that used to work there before part-time and a woman who is in the department on sick leave is supposed to come back. So I feel my time is short at this company. Okay. So yes, your time is short at this company. It's uh, like uh, short as in like the, within the next six weeks. And uh, I will tell you that um, you will find a new job, a, a quite colorful job, um, but um, it. It's very, um, very much your pace, all right? So what I'm seeing here is that uh, many things are going to lead up to uh, your arrival of this new uh, position. So as you uh, come into this uh, new position, I'm not exactly sure what it is because you haven't even uh, created it yet, but um, it shows me um, very successful. That, uh, successful employment here, and I don't know if you are. Do you own a home? No. All right. Well, I see you owning a home uh, almost right around the um, right around the corner as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So okay. there's there's a new home and a new, uh, well a new job and a new home. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So. Um, and I don't know if you are um, are in a relationship or not, um, but I also see something about possibly a marriage. Yes, I I, I do like somebody uh, we're dating, um, and um, it's it's slow. He's got to get out of something, and I'm trying to find work, but steady work. But yeah, I I, I hope this is the person. Okay, well, I do see I uh, do see marriage. I do see marriage, and okay. I do see you know, um, yeah, I do see that the um, the energy of the relationship is very prosperous, and uh, and also predicts marriage. So uh, oh, okay. I'm going to say definitely, definitely, you've got a very broad horizon up here because uh, with uh, for confirmation, yes, I, uh, I'm, yeah, I draw a, a uh, the six of cups. So yes, uh, big confirmation there. Big confirmation. Oh, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. What what the well, we'll, 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 have to say. Okay. I feel Karen that there's a job coming up February, March, April that you are going to be leaving the job that you're in soon. But in February, March, or April, you're going to end up with a permanent job, long-term employment, and in uh, as a consultant. But it will be long-term employment, and I kind of feel that you know that you'll be working as something else other than a consultant. That you'll also be doing customer service as well as consultant work, dealing with clients and dealing with customers. A lot of communications with customers and and I feel that's coming up in February, March or April, a permanent job so you won't be unemployed that long and you will end up getting a permanent job and Brian, how can Karen get in contact with you? Karen, you can get in contact with me at 586-659-9620 or you can go to my website at www.magicaljourney.com or you can also go to my blog at www.brianrawls.com. Thank you. And you, you can are get very a hold welcome. And, Merry Christmas. and you can get a hold of me at 818-744-5241 or go to my website, psychichorizon.com. Thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show and have a good Christmas, Karen. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good holiday. You're welcome. Um, um, I want to thank Brian Rawls for being my guest on the Psychic Horizon Show. He'll be back January 19th. I wanted to thank Tiffany White, Sage Woman for, of Goldilocks Production for producing the Psychic Horizon Show. And I want to thank all the callers who participated in the Psychic Horizon Show today. Thank you for being a guest, Brian, and have a good Christmas.
Thank you so much, Shelly. I'll let Angel Wings guide your dreams. Blessed be and namaste. Thank you, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Bye now. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.